We are on a mission with intention. That means to live life on purpose, with purpose, not just going with the flow. Waking up every single day, knowing what you're working towards, knowing what you want, knowing what you want to accomplish, knowing what outcome you are seeking in your life. See, I want to be the driver of my life. I don't want to just let life drive me, period. Being intentional means focusing on what matters. Being intentional means not saying yes to things that do not serve you. Being intentional means consciously and carefully choosing your thoughts, actions, and words and not letting them be shaped or influenced by people, places, your emotions, etc. Being intentional is very important because it aligns your actions and your values, right? Which means being intentional helps you move closer to the person that you want to be in your life. You know, I feel like too many of us wake up, we don't have a schedule, we don't have a plan. I remember when people would ask me like, look, Sola Brittany, where do you see yourself five years from now? Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? And I would be like, I don't know. I'm too worried about getting through today. I'm too worried about how I'm going to pay rent in three days. Ain't nobody thinking about 10 years from now. I should know where I want to be in 10 years, right? Because that means if I know what I want my life to look like 10 years from now, that means everything I do today, tomorrow, and every single day for the next 10 years is going to be very intentional and focused to work towards the life that I see for myself in 10 years. So that means every single decision that I make today, tomorrow, for the next 10 years will all be very intentional, very focused, very disciplined. So I can make sure in 10 years, I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do. And I'm the woman that I said I was going to be 10 years from now. When I first sat down to work on my 10 year plan, it it seems so out of reach for me, right? I'm like, where do I start? Where do I start? So what I did was first, I wrote out my values and my priorities. The things that mean the most to me and what's the most important in, in order of priority, right? So for me, I know I tell you guys, I became a mother at a really young age. I was a teenage mother. I had my first son when I was 15 years old. So being able to provide for my children has always been top priority, right? My second priority has always been to follow my passion and pursue the career that I love and that I want for myself. God, my family, and my career are all three things that I value wholeheartedly. And they have always been priority in my life. So me knowing what I value the most and my priorities, it has always helped to guide my decisions. Every decision that I've made for the past 21 years of my life has always been a reflection of my priorities. I used to work at Delta Airlines. I think I told y'all this in one of the old videos. It's the longest job I ever had. I managed to have that job for nine years. And the only reason I was able to keep that job for so long is because I was very intentional with the reason I worked there. I was able to fly free, not only me, but my family too. We were all able to fly free all over the world. I kept that job because I used those flight benefits to travel from Detroit to LA so I could pursue my career goals, right? So even down to the job that I decided to take and be a part of, I was very intentional in why I kept that job. One point in my life, I was literally flying from Detroit to LA every three days, three days, Detroit to LA, Detroit to LA, Detroit to LA, Detroit to LA for years. I would come to LA, shoot music videos, um, record music in the studio. Then I'd fly back to Detroit, go to my kids' football games, be a mom, come right back to LA, back and forth, back and forth. 
If it was not for that job, if it was not for Delta Airlines, I don't know where I would be, honestly. So in order to be intentional, we have to set very clear and specific goals for ourselves. We have to set goals for our relationships, our own personal growth, our career, or whatever it is you may want out of this life. Setting very clear, precise goals is very, very, very important. So it's like, if you say, I want to be a doctor, okay? To be a doctor is the main, is, is the, the goal, the, the top line. So in order to be a doctor, what, are this, what do I have to do? What are all the micro goals that I have to accomplish before I'm able to reach the main goal, right? I got to graduate from high school. I got to go to college. I got to study medicine. I got to go to med school. You know, whatever those steps are, you break every single thing down and then you get even more specific, right? Like, okay, well, how much does it cost? How much money do you need? The more specific you are with your goals, the easier it is to obtain your goals, period. You have to write it out. You have to see it. If you write it out and you know exactly the steps that you need to take to accomplish your main goal, then you are being very intentional. You know exactly what you need to do to accomplish that goal. We should have daily goals for ourselves. When we wake up, how do we want to feel today? I want to eat healthy today. So what am I going to do? I'm going to make sure I go to the grocery store, buy vegetables and fruits, I'm going to cook healthy, I'm going to drink water, I'm going to work out. That's being intentional. That's know, knowing what you want, having a goal, being clear with your goals, then being intentional with everything that we do to accomplish those goals. And then once we set our goals, we have to be mindful and know when we are on track. Or we have to be mindful and re recognize when we are not on track with our goals. You know, it gets hard. Every day may not be perfect. You may not accomplish the exact goal that you wanted to accomplish for yourself, but at least you are mindful and you know why you didn't accomplish it. So you know what to do better or how to pick up and, and do better the next day. So you can accomplish the goal that you have at hand. When we are working on being intentional, we have to simplify our commitments. We got to pay attention to where our time and our energy is going. Letting go of unnecessary things that are not aligned with our own personal goals. Because if we out here doing anything, whatever, then we are not being intentional, right? When you simplify your commitments, you free up space for the things that truly matter, allowing us to be more intentional. For the last couple of years, I was the brand ambassador for an alcohol company. And when I took the job and when I committed to it, it sounded amazing. It sounded like an amazing opportunity. The pay was good. Um, you know, it was great exposure. But after so long, I realized that although the money was good and it may have been fun, being a brand ambassador for an alcohol company did not align with my purpose and my values you know it was taking up so much of my time i was drinking more gaining weight because you know i'm promoting the alcohol so we having all these events and parties um i was so focused on curating events for the alcohol brand that it was taken away from my own personal goals and things that i wanted to accomplish for myself within my music career you know even my youtube building my youtube channel and so just last month or just two months ago was my last month working with the company. I may have lost some money by walking away from that opportunity, but now I'm able to focus on what's more important to me. I'm able to actually focus on the things that I actually value and my priorities. Just because it sound good, look good, don't mean it's always good for you. So you know, being very careful about what we commit to, making sure that whatever we do commit to, that it aligns with who you are, your intentions, your purpose, your values, and your priorities wholeheartedly. Making thoughtful decisions, making sure that every decision that we make is intentionally aligned with our values 
and who we want to be and where we see ourselves going. It's so important. Too many times do we make decisions just based off of emotions or what may look good or sound good, but it ends up being horrible for us. You know, it's not adding to your personal growth. It's not helping you accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish for yourself. We think that we have a lot of time, but we truly don't. Time goes by so fast, y'all. So we don't have time to be wasting on things that are not truly aligned with our purpose. Limiting distractions and setting boundaries is so important. You know, how can we be intentional if we are being distracted by things that are not helping you grow? Having boundaries, knowing when to say no, knowing when to cut people off when they are not bringing value to your life. Being very intentional with the things that you allow within your life. It can be very tough sometimes because sometimes the things and the people that we love the most are the worst for us. As we grow and we're working on creating an intentional life, we got to just learn when certain things or people got to go if they are not aligned with who you see yourself becoming and who you want to be. Investing into our personal growth is very important. Continuing to water our minds, read books, surround ourselves with people and things that inspire us to be better. I never cared to be the big fish in a small pond. If I'm the smartest person in the room, I start to feel dumb. I like to surround myself with people that are more successful, people that have had more experiences, because then I'm able to learn something from them. You know, so being very intentional about the books that I read, being very intentional about what I watch on TV, being very intentional about the type of music that I listen to. Yesterday, I went to the movies with one of my friends. We went to see a scary movie, Smile 2. Y'all, I got up and left that movie theater and I felt like I just wasted my brain cells. I'm like, I can't get these two hours back that I just sat here and watched this stupid movie. I could have been at home reading a book i could have been at home creating a youtube video doing things that are intentional that actually align with my goals me i'm all about personal growth i love that's one of my favorite things is to see how far i have grown how far i have come i love to watch other people grow i love to watch plants grow it's just something about growth that just feeds my soul uh, and oftentimes, I have to check in with myself to make sure that I'm on track, making sure that the decisions that I'm making are aligned with my goals, paying attention to what's working, what's not working, what needs to be adjusted, what I need to add, what I need to eliminate, being very intentional in the process of my life and continuously taking the time to make sure that I'm staying on course, that I'm on the right path. Sometimes we gotta check ourselves. You can't rely on other people to make sure you are doing what you are supposed to be doing. One thing I had to really remind myself to do was to celebrate my wins, no matter how big or how small. Because I noticed that I would accomplish things and I just like, okay, on to the next. But taking the time to celebrate yourself is so important. So important. It's, what, it's a reminder of how far you've come and how hard you work to get there. Pat yourself on the back. Recognize the work that you are putting in. Celebrating yourself reinforces your commitment to living intentionally. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to wait on nobody else to buy you some flowers. Go buy yourself some flowers. You ain't got to wait on somebody else to take you out to eat. Take yourself out to eat. Celebrate yourself. And when we are dating, being very intentional with what we want from our partner, what we're looking for. Because if you don't, you can't be mad when you're not getting what you want because you don't even know what you want. And not being afraid to speak up and letting people know. 
I sometimes I take my calendar and I just write out things that I want to do, whether it's planned, confirmed or not. I write the rules to my life. I don't wait for somebody else to tell me, oh, Labrini, this is what you got to do November 12th. This is what you got to do. No, I, I literally take my calendar and I just write out. I'm very intentional. That's me being intentional about what I want my days to look like. Y'all should try it. I actually love it. It keeps me intentional. It keeps me focused on accomplishing the things that I want to accomplish. You know, being intentional with our friendships, being intentional with our personal goals, being intentional just with everything in our life. You know, that means you are truly walking in your purpose. You have a clear and focused idea of how you want to live your life. Making sure our actions align with our values and our priorities. You know, we want to get the most out of this life, y'all. We only got one life to live. And honey, when I tell y'all, time flies. It felt just like yesterday my kids were little babies. Now they are adults. A lot of these things I wish I knew when I was younger. But it's never too late. It's never too late because we have today, we have right now to be better, to do better. When you know better, you can do better. So let's be better. <laughs> All right, y'all.